What's going on, Arizona Sports Fan Family? Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Today, what I want to talk about is basically two different topics. I want to talk about why Greg Dorch was phased out of this offense, as well as yesterday during the press conference from Kyler Murray, the media tried to catch Kyler Murray slipping. We're going to go ahead and dive right into both these topics, ladies and gentlemen. Let's roll that intro. All right, everybody, welcome back in. Now, like I mentioned in the intro today, what I want to specifically talk about is obviously two different topics. We got Greg Dorch as well as Kyler Murray in his press conference yesterday. We're going to dive right both into those two topics. Now, before we get started, definitely do me one huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. We are on the road to 10K and I can't do it without you guys. Definitely subscribe it up. It's free. Whatever, let's dive right into these topics here. Let's first start off with Greg Dorch here, right? I, I think a lot of people were very excited about Greg Dorch. I put a video about him saying that he's going to be the next rising star. I, I understand that he's a journeyman, right? He comes from multiple different teams, but I really did think that this system was going to be very good for, for Greg Dorch moving forward. And honestly, with the first games that he was playing with the Arizona Cardinals, he had major success with the Arizona Cardinals offense and it was going very very well the biggest issue that we're running into right now in terms of why he's not available anymore is because we have Rondo Moore coming back now I think this was probably one of the biggest debates uh for you know um a lot of Arizona Cardinal fans right it's you know Rondo Moore over Greg Dorch Greg Dorch over Rondo Moore uh whatever the situation might have been but I, I do truly feel like this offense flourished a lot better when Greg Dorch was on the field. Now, if you take a look here um, at the stats of Greg Dorch for the games that he played, now keep in mind, this is going to be very minimal because the moment that Rondo Moore came back, he started to get phased out little by little. Now, Greg Dorch had an amazing, you know, uh, first games that he had with the Arizona Cardinals, 21 receptions, 204 yards, um, as well as one touchdown. He averaged 9.7 yards a catch. And this is one of the biggest things I was worried about the moment that Rondo Moore ended up coming back, that we were going to start seeing a decline of production from from Greg Dorch, but that's no fault at all to Greg Dorch. If you take a look at the snap count, the very first week he had 91% on the field, week two, 71%, week three, 81%. And then that's when I kind of started going down, right? Week four, 36. And right there, week five and week six, we started looking into single digit numbers. Um, and at one point, Andre Bocelli had 17% on week five, and it just absolutely didn't make sense. I don't get why Greg Dorch has been phased out of this offense when he was being absolutely productive for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, this is my only, you know, take on this whole situation. I truly do believe that the biggest reason why Greg Dorch was benched for Ron Del Moore was the fact that the Arizona Cardinals don't want to be caught looking dumb, right? I, I truly do believe that because Rondo Moore is a second round pick, he is going to be highly you know, not sought after, but he's going to go ahead and get those reps over the undrafted players. And I do truly believe that that's unfair. All I want is the best 11 people on the field. We're not seeing that with, you know, Rondo Moore on the field. Now, granted, he has had a better games this last couple games compared to what he did in the very first game. Now, I understand he's coming back from an injury and that makes sense. But I do believe truly that Greg Dorch is better in this system than Rondo Moore. Now, honestly, this is another take on this as well. Now, it might not all be Rondo Moore's fault, right? We might also put a blame on Cliff Kingsbury because we have seen some plays that are very questionable from Cliff Kingsbury when Rondo Moore is on the field. They're throwing the ball to him behind the line of scrimmage all the time in screen plays, dumb little cutesy plays like that. And that might not be the fault of Rondo Moore, maybe more of Cliff Kingsbury. And that's kind of what I want to take that out of the mind of Cliff Kingsbury, right? Saying you don't have Rondo Moore anymore, put Greg Dorch out there. He's better better as a vertical threat, in my personal opinion. And I, and I do honestly think that he's going to be that guy. Now, I still don't believe that Greg Dorch will be getting it. Um, you know, the more reps back, unless Rondo Moore gets hurt because just that's the type of organization that we are stubborn we, we 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 value high draft picks over undrafted players journeymen i mean i do believe that this trend will continue unless rondo moore gets hurt now we're not saying here please rondo moore get hurt i'm not gonna wish any will ill on any players right all i want is the best 11 on the field and if he continues to give us the production that he has then hey i'm happy with rondo moore but it's very concerning i know there's a lot of fans out there right now screaming on top of soapboxes why isn't greg dorch on the field let's move on to the next topic here and that's going to be Kyler Murray in his press conference yesterday. We ended up getting Kyler Murray 
as well as DeAndre Hopkins. And we got some pretty good takeaways, right? We got DeAndre Hopkins basically saying a lot of positive things, getting the, the fan base really hyped up that he's coming back. He did acknowledge that it's not going to be one player that's going to make this offense, right? He can't get the ball 26 times getting thrown to him. And it's just an obvious fact, but he's very excited. Um, there was also some questions about, you know, having some concern because he hasn't played in an actual football game for quite some time. Is he worried about the cramps? Is he worried about the soft tissue, um, you know, injuries? And he just basically said he's going to go out there and ball, right? He, he doesn't want to worry about any negative things. He's only thinking positive uh, from here on out. And I'm, I'm honestly very excited about seeing DeAndre Hopkins. I think we absolutely truly do need his presence on the field. And let's dive right into Kyler Murray. Now, he pretty much said a lot of the same things too, right? Obviously acknowledging the terrible start that we're, we're sitting at right now at two and four. Um, but there was one specific question that kind of, you know, not exploded the Twitter world, but basically kind of made a, a conversation between a lot of the Arizona Cardinal fans. And I kind of wanted to put my two cents or my take into this whole situation. So the question was asked by one of the media, um, you know, reps, and he ended up asking them, hey, you know, Cliff Kingsbury came out and said that uh, he's going to be, you know, willing to give up play calling, right? Um, and they asked him, do you think that Cliff Kingsbury should do that? And Kyler Murray looked at him and he was like, you know, come on, dog, right? Like, like, and actually smirking and, and smiling. Come on, dog. Now, take that, you know, how you will, right? The way that he answered it. This is the way that I interpreted this whole situation. Kyler Murray will not and will never put himself in a situation where he's putting any negative juju, any negative thoughts, any negative saying about anybody in this Cardinal organization. That's Steve Kime, that's Cliff Kingsbury. And the biggest reason why, ladies and gentlemen, is because he's employed by the Arizona Cardinals. Imagine the headlines right out there, right? Imagine the headlines that come out. If Kyler Murray did say, yeah, right? Right? And he's probably only saying, yeah, because Cliff Kingsbury said it, right? So he's trying to back his, his head coach. But if he says, yeah, then headlines everywhere, right? It's going to be, you know, Kyler Murray is, is done with Cliff Kingsbury. He wants him to get rid of the play calls, all this different stuff. So this would have been blown up a lot bigger if he would have answered yes. Now, he because he answered Come on, dog. Like he, he, he is basically insinuating like, hey, don't, don't put me in this situation, right? Don't trap me in a box here because you know I'm not going to answer. And, and I truly do respect that from Kyler Murray. Now, a lot of fans do believe that Cliff Kingsbury should be releasing or like, you know, releasing the duties of play calling. And I do honestly believe that it's going to happen eventually, especially if the Saints game doesn't go our way. But Kyler Murray will not say anything bad about the Cardinal organization because he's getting employed. It's almost very similar to your job, right? If you're not happy about your boss, you're not going to come out and say on public record that you're don't like him, right? And you don't like the, you don't like the decisions that's that's happening, right? Unless you're deciding to quit in two weeks, then that's a completely different story. But Kyler Murray will not be putting himself in that situation, and I absolutely don't blame him at all. So this doesn't mean that Kyler Murray is happy right I don't think it doesn't mean that Kyler Murray is happy with what's going on right now obviously he wants to win that's the the source of the frustration that it that's coming out of Kyler Murray and honestly it's rightfully so man we're sitting in a situation right now when we're an 11 win team last year and now we're starting the season off two and four and right now it seems like a complete dumpster fire and the person that we're trying to you know, look for for answers, doesn't seem to have answers. We haven't won a home game in eight straight times, and it's just absolutely crazy at this moment. So, recapping, Kyler Murray is not going to say anything bad about the Cardinals organization. He's still getting employed by them. So, I honestly do respect the way he answered this uh, for the media. Um, and honestly, I, I don't want to see any more headlines saying, Kyler Murray, right? It doesn't walk Cliff Kingsbury to head coach anymore. We're not going to go ahead and get to that level, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day and go Cards. Come on, dog.